What's up, everybody? It is still winter time here. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Pantsis. If it's your first time, please smash the subscribe button. If not, thanks for your continued support. Today, we're gonna actually um, we're gonna run the Porsche 911 here, and uh, I bought oil, complete oil change. I'll go through it in the video here for, for ninety dollars, under a hundred dollars to change the oil on my Porsche. Pretty reasonably cheap for the amount of oil that this thing consumes and takes. So I'm pretty excited to do this. It'll be the first time I'm doing an oil change on the car. And it seems like on the previous records from the previous owner, since I bought it in July of last year, they seem to do oil changes every spring. And obviously the average miles put on this car have been about 4,000 miles a year, which is not even a complete oil cycle. So obviously the oil I expect to be pretty reasonably clean. So I look forward to inspecting the oil filter and just checking out the full engine when we get under there. But in the meantime, uh, since I still got to remove the snow blower and there's more snow coming this afternoon, I figured let's just give this thing a start up uh, and uh, let it run, let it run and, and warm up. It's cold outside. Whew. All right, so the idle has been idling down for the last couple of minutes. So we're going to pull it into this bay here, put it up on some ramps and uh, hop right into it. All right, guys, we are underneath. We have this cover here. Probably don't need to remove it, but I'm going to because I don't want oil dripping inside this in between since this is protecting. Looks like it's actually a little loose, interestingly enough. Yeah, wow, this wasn't even bolted in. This wasn't even, this bolt wasn't even in. Huh, look at that. Good thing we went under here. All right, so three 10 millimeter bolts will take this guy off. Okay, oil pan's looking really dry. We got the plug here and oil filter there, so. Let's get to it. Nice and clean oil. Not too, not too bad looking. I'll let that just, uh, let that all drain out now. Really clean oil. Look at that, how clean that oil is. Pretty awesome. All right. Slide this thing forward and we can clean up the oil filter now. All right, guys, I'm just gonna let this drain out and drip. Keep you posted on the oil filter there. All right, I was just fighting pretty hard with this, as you guys can see, but I couldn't manage to get this off. But what I'll do is just show you guys inside. It is pretty freaking clean in there. There is no metal shavings. There's zero debris. In fact, if you look at some of this filter, it's actually partially still white, not even blacked out. And uh, really, 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 really awesome to see that. 
because obviously I bought this car last year. I knew it had a good history with previous owners, but uh, that's it. That's got 4,000 miles or so on the filter and uh, really clean. So that is really awesome to show you guys and satisfying for myself that there is no metal shavings in any of the filter. And uh, it's freaking awesome. Really, really awesome. All right, there's the new filter. I also bought a new crush washer for the drain plug for like a dollar. You might as well throw it in there. Make sure it's freshly sealed and uh, we should be all set. So I'm gonna put the new seal on the oil filter housing and we'll put the new oil filter in. Let's do it. All right guys, so we have our new crush washer here. Got this nice and cleaned up. The oil pan, pan drug, uh, oil pan drain plug here. You guys can see, it seems like it's fairly new, but uh, we can re reinstall everything now. All right, this goes to 37 foot pounds of torque. Pretty light. Boom, 37 foot pounds. All right, all situated there, guys. Nice and cleaned up, which is awesome. Now we'll come up top here and uh, fill up our oil. All right, so our 911, this 3.4 liter and the 3.6 liter uses uh, a, zero, a 5W40 is what I use in this car based on the previous owner. Uh, so that's what we're gonna use here. And I'm using 8.75 quarts of oil. So that means we want 1.25 quarts left when we are finished. Okay guys, I put a little rag here to catch. I lifted up the uh, unit here. Let's freaking do it. All right, we're all buttoned up here. I'm just gonna fire up the car, take it off the ramps, and then we'll check the oil level. All right, everything's nice and dry under there. Let that idle for a second, we'll check the oil level, let's do it. Here's our oil pressure gauge. You can see it's nice and high on the five there, just above below it. That's because the engine's cold, but but that's usually uh, pretty much where it stays between uh, stays on the upper side here for sure. Never really drops anywhere down there, which is good. 
So there's my first successful oil change on my 2000 Porsche 996. Pretty straightforward and it cost me $90 a few change. Pretty cheap and uh, doesn't take that, take that long to do. It's pretty easy to access as you saw. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. There's a lot of videos out there on how to change oil on the 996, but I figured I'd throw one out there because it's my first time. And uh, of course I enjoy putting the content out there. This is a beautiful example of a 996, so it's good we share it to the world. We have 84,301 miles on the odometer there. So next month we have our first track event and uh, that's gonna be the season opener going into the spring now. So we're gonna get some use this year out of the car and I truly look forward to it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Stay tuned, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please please be sure to smash that subscribe button below and uh, stay, stay in touch for the next episode. See ya.